Hey, Gopher fans, Mike Grimm with Gopher Sports and Gopher Radio. It's another edition of Gopher Talk. It's presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, your local credit union throughout the entire state of Minnesota. An exciting time for the Gopher soccer team as they have now not lost in five straight games, three wins, two ties. They qualified for the Big Ten tournament, which is this weekend, the opening round, and the Gophers go to Michigan State, the regular season champion in the Big Ten. And one of the great stories on this team is Gabby Cesaroni, a defender, a graduate transfer, from St. Charles, Illinois, and she is our guest on Gopher Talk. Gabby, good to see you. It's good seeing you, too. Hey, as we record this, we just found out you were named second team all Big Ten. That's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What does that honor mean to you uh, coming? And we'll get into your background a little bit, but uh, but we'll start by saying you were a Division Three All-American last year and previous seasons and now stepping up to the Big Ten to become an all-conference player. What's that mean to you? I mean, it's a great honor to have. I think it speaks a lot to our team. Um, I've said this before, but no individual award is really an individual award. It really speaks to kind of the success of the team. So I think when anyone can get those awards, you know, that's a team award. And that's super exciting, you know, after we've kind of hit our stride. So super exciting to see that. You guys have hit the stride here, as we mentioned. You played a lot of competitive games over the course of the season as well. Um, how do you feel like uh, like it's going? You, you have to feel good about the momentum you've kind of garnered here in the last handful of weeks, and and now it's postseason time. Anything can happen, right? What, what's your sense on this team? Yeah, I mean, obviously Michigan State's a good team, but at this point, every single team you're going to come up against is going to be a good team. So I think at this point, it's you know focusing on internally and looking at what our team needs to do and the details for us. Um, and like you said, we've hit our stride recently. We've really started to find the character and personality of our team. And this is a perfect time to kind of start to hit our peak. So just kind of riding that wave and going into the weekend, you know, focusing on the details and focusing on us. What do you think has been the key to, to finding that stride, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you start off any season, a big component is learning that chemistry with other people on the field and also gaining that individual confidence on the field. And I think early on, you know, we were trying to figure out exactly, you know, what formation, um, what our tactics were going to be. But I think once we kind of solidified that as a team, um, individuals were really able to step into their own and kind of find their role on the team. And then from there, I think, you know, just paying attention to those details and figuring out what do we do well and sticking to those things. I think that's led to a lot of our success recently. And Michigan State, they're ranked sixth in the country, so it's a it's a tall task. What do you see from them stylistically? What will you guys have to watch out for, and uh, maybe uh, you know a key or two to to going against the Spartans? Yeah, I mean they're a good team. They don't give up a lot of goals, and they score a lot of goals. So I think what's going to be important is that we're super organized defensively, but also realizing you know this is a great opportunity for our team to you know take on one of the best teams in the country and on any one day, it's anyone's game. So I think we need to go in, not viewing ourselves as the underdog and just viewing us as, you know, this is just another game that they're kind of in the way of the the next spot. So I think if we view it that way, um, we'll have a lot more success. Three o'clock Sunday, it's in East Lansing, that game first round. And then if you uh, get past Michigan State, then it's the tournament itself, I guess we'd call it with the semifinals the following week. And that's on uh, campus at Ohio State. They're the host institution for the uh, for the semifinals and the championship game. So it'd be fun, certainly to advance to that. Uh, we mentioned your background, Division Three transfer. You were an All-American, the defender of the year in the entire country last year for a very good uh, Division Three team. I lived in St. Louis for five years before I came to Minnesota, so I'm very familiar with Washington University it's like the division three version of Stanford I mean so first of all we know you're really smart right to to, to one get into WashU but they have really good athletics across the board what a beautiful campus what was your experience like at WashU I mean yeah it I couldn't have asked for a better undergraduate four years for for myself like you said obviously the the academics are next to none um the the Harvard of the Midwest as some yeah. people like to call it so long as they know that you're not talking about you know, Washington in Washington. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I loved it in that regard. It's really challenging academically. And then, like you said, they have a lot of success across all of their athletics. So it's a really good environment to be in. And, you know, I love the team, love the coaches. And it was just a great experience um, for me and made the perfect undergrad. You, uh, a year ago, were Defender of the Year in the entire country. What What was your connection from St. Charles, Illinois, your home uh, area to get to wash you and then how did you eventually get connected to uh, Minnesota and coach Chastain and say hey I'm gonna I'm gonna give the Big Ten an opportunity here 
Yeah, so um, I guess Wash U was kind of an unexpected turn for me. Um, I, it wasn't even on my radar actually when I was initially looking for undergrad and then um, the coach there had reached out to me and my mom was like, you should really, really go visit um, this story. He likes to talk about it a lot. He's like, I thank your mom every day because <laughs> my mom was always like, you need to go visit. If you visit, you don't like it, fine. Um, but so I, dragging my heels, went to visit and absolutely loved it. Um, and was like, you know what, this is the, the place for me. It had everything I wanted academically. It was still super competitive soccer wise for me. Um, and it just made the, the perfect connection. And then obviously once everyone got that extra year for COVID, um, I was already planning on doing grad school. So I was like debating whether or not I really wanted to take that extra year of soccer. Um, and for me, I was like, okay, I can use my extra year and stay here at Wash U. But I also just at that point for me, I was like, I have had a great experience here, but really excited to kind of get a new challenge and new environment for me. So what ended up happening was I made my list of what schools I wanted to go to for my academic program. And then from there looked at, okay, can I make this work with soccer? And coincidentally, small connection, my assistant coach at Wash U actually played for Aaron at DePaul. So yeah. when I initially started looking, Aaron hadn't been named as the head coach yet, but Minnesota was one of my top schools. Um, and so it was this waiting game of, okay, how long do I wait to see if there's a coach versus, you know, exploring some of these other schools on my list. And then Aaron got named and instantly my assistant coach texted me and she was like, you're not going to believe this. Um, I know the, the head coach that was named and I know Minnesota is one of your top schools you're looking at. And so it was honestly a, a perfect connection for me to get my foot in the door. Has it been what you thought it would be with your experience? I mean, you're amongst the leading goal scorers on the team as a defender, which is great. And as we mentioned, uh, the team's kind of finding some success here. Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you're young, every kid dreams of, you know, playing on a on the big scale like this, where, you know, at Minnesota, the the pride in the school and the pride in the athletics is something that is kind of that, that aura that you look for. Um, so I think in that regards, that's been super fun and exciting for me to be a part of just because it's slightly different than kind of that environment at Wash U. But I really have loved that. I loved the challenge. I knew stepping, you know, up from the D3 to the D1 level, there was going to be um, some adjustments just because the girls are all super, super athletic at the D1 level. Also just the, the mentality shift of, um, you know, soccer is really a, a business, but also, you know, your sport that you love. And so being able to be a part of that has been just a blast for me. Um, and then, as uh, you mentioned, the the academic side of it, obviously, that was important to you to go to Wash U uh, and now uh, pursuing uh, a postgraduate. What, what is your academic interest and in, and uh, where are you headed? Yeah, um, so I'm getting my master's in in public health administration and policy, and my minor was in biochemistry. So I'm a STEM kid. I really like science um, and I really like the medical field and health field. So Long term, um, really want to be involved in kind of either consulting in regards to healthcare, health technology and devices. Um, at some point, would really love to start my own company in the field. So I guess that's kind of the the end goal, but a lot of steps to get there. Long term, that's awesome. That's a great goal. Short term, the goal is to beat Michigan State on Sunday. Um, it's been fun watching this team come together and good luck Sunday in the Big Ten tournament. Thank you. All right, Gabby Cesaroni, our guest here. What a great story, no question about it. Big Ten, uh, second team all Big Ten, and a wonderful year here, one of the leading scorers on this Gopher team. That has been Gopher Talk presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. So long, Gopher fans.